Hey, it's going YouTube. This is Silver Beanie here, bringing the show your way. And today I'm bringing you guys episode 16 of our Pokemon Sage 2.0 demo. Let's play. If you guys have missed any of our previous episodes, make sure you guys check them out. I'll link to the entire playlist will always, 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 always be included in the description below. So make sure you guys go check it out. But before we go any further, if you guys are hyped and excited for today's episode and you guys can't wait to see what's going to happen next, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button down below. Don't make sure you guys subscribe if you are new because this is, I believe, possibly the last, if not the second to last episode for this series. And it's, it's coming to a close, guys. It's coming to a close. But do not worry. Do not fret. A new project is coming. It's in the works. In fact, uh, maybe a week out. So we may have a week with very few videos. But um, we have got a brand new project starting on October the 1st, if I'm not mistaken. So, hey, something to look forward to. But I'm going to give you guys a quick team recap because quite a bit has changed since the last episode. So spoilers, make sure you go and check it out. Um, I did do a bit of grinding. Now, I will include the grinding session um, in the end of this episode. So if you guys want to check it out, you can see. It's going to be a bit of a mismatch, but I did a bit of grinding before, like in between the last episode and this episode. I got everyone up a couple of levels. Uh, and... Um, yeah, I'll include it at the end of this episode. So you guys can watch it if you guys would like to. All right. So... Spoilers, is on the screen there, but, so, up first we have Rhea, who is our starter, our level 31, Grass Flying Type Flora Bry, who I believe will probably be the most important member in this team for today's episode. Uh, uh, holding that big root uh, with a careful nature, with Overgrow, Rocket Mega Drain, Leaf Tornado, Air Cutter, and Pluck. Then we got Poppy, our beautiful Corberus, um, who is now holding the black glasses with that dark fire typing. Uh, now level 29, so we gained Poppy up a couple of levels. Um, the main reason really is because Poppy is just so powerful. So, so powerful. I mean, he's got the quiet nature, but look at that attack stat. Base 80. Beautiful with guts. Mmm! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So Poppy is here. Um, Poppy's going to take lives, I know that much. But I wanted to get Poppy up a few levels, even though obviously his next gym is going to be water. And obviously we are part fire, so we are weak to it. But I think... I think Poppy can make it work. Now we also have a brand new member replacing our Iricoon, uh, Kane our Iricoon. So we finally get uh, finally like boxed uh, our Iricoon. We now have a brand new member. Uh, I did, I did, I, I caught this Pokemon in the, during the grinding. So I said, if you want to check out how we caught it and you know the whole process at the end of the episode. But we now have. Espio, our brand new Pokemon, Espio, the Salatic. Now, I, I mentioned it during the last episode when we found it. I was just like, oh! I was like, I have to have you. And here he is. Here he is. Espio is here. I was like, throughout the whole grinding, I literally just, just like, every time I form one, I was like, I want to catch one. I want to catch one. I want to catch one. And then I finally just decided, you know what? I'm going to catch one. So I just did. I, I caught one. He's another 27. I didn't want to get him too high. Um, but then I wanted him to be decent enough so we could actually do some damage. So he's level 27. He's an electric type. He looks absolutely beautiful. He's impish nature, which really isn't too great. Um, it lowers his special attack and increases his defense. But he is rocking static, which is really nice. Uh, and his moves are Spark, Faint Attack, Shadow Sneak, and Thunder Wave. He has a very powerful moveset. Uh, I'm very excited to use this BO. Um, so I'm very, very looking forward to this. Um, and then we've got Perry, who is now level 28, Fighting Poison type Platy Pal, holding up Metronome, rocking the haste of nature with full force, ability with the little sweet Poison Tail, Water Gun, and Reversal. Uh, re no, Reversal, Revenge, which he learned in the uh, grinding as well. And then we got Takar, who we didn't grind at all, purely because I didn't really see the point. Um, he's Fire and Rock, times four weak to water. The only thing that's benefiting is the fact that he has Sturdy, but Takar is an awesome Pokemon. I really like, I really like him, so he's staying on the team. Uh, he's rocking that hard stone with a hardy nature, sturdy, flame burst, rock tomb, poison gas, and smackdown. And then last but not least, we have Shade, who we gained a couple levels, who's now level 27. Our ghost type, Quartergeist, rocking that quiet nature with the perforate, with the nature, hex, stomp, and the will-o'-wisp. We learned hex during the grinding as well. Um, so that is our team. Uh, I'm going to quickly just check any of my held items. 
uh, if I've got anything. I also got a King's Rock as well during the grinding, I think. Uh, which I thought I'm going to give. I'm going to give Espia that because um, it's a really good item. Um, so power water type moves, normal type moves, flying type moves. Yeah, nothing helps us there really. So in this episode, as I say, this is literally going to be focusing around the gym. So in the last episode, as I say, we did all we battled all the trainers, uh, and we've now got to make our way back. Uh, in fact, you know what? Uh, one sec. Wait, no. Uh, we're going to leave with Raya, I think. No, Raya is following us. No, I don't want Raya to follow us. I want Espio to follow me. Because I want to see what Espio looks like. Look at him! He's so cute! Uh, which one is it? Uh, is this one? Can't remember. I cannot remember. Still, we're probably going to be a while trying to figure this out. Um, we're getting deeper. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think we get in there. And then it's this one? Are we getting closer? I feel like we're getting warmer. We're going up now. Um, okay, nope. So we do want to go back down. Man, trying to figure this out is like trying to find out. So we don't want to go up, we want to go keep going down. So, okay, you take me up, you take me up, and you take me up. Man! Okay, maybe you only take us so far, but you, then you take us back down. Oh man, I'm so confused right now. What is going on? Like, how, how do you do this? Hang on, maybe it's this one. Oh, hello. No, oh, it's like, oh, is this is this un an area that's unlocked? But no. Um, how do I do this? Okay, so it has to be this one, because the other one just takes us to a dead end and makes us loop. Right, okay, hang on. I've got to figure this out, because this is this is going to drive me crazy. Right, obviously I know we're heading in the right direction at the moment, because it's getting darker. And then this one. Okay, so we're in the right direction. But then these both take us up. And up is not where I want to go. I want to go down. Oh, hang on, maybe this way. Aha! Aha! Aha, aha! I think I've got it. No, this takes us up. No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> How do we do this? How do you do this? Okay. It's this one. Okay. And then it's... Which one was it? This one. Okay. And then it's up and around. It's this one. Up and around. Okay. Oh. I'm not banning you on Route 7. Leave me alone. Uh, okay, maybe it's not this one. Oh my god. There's, there must be just one elevator that I just have not gone through yet. And I'm just not trying it. I, I must be missing something. I really must. I'm sure you guys are screaming at me right now, trying to wear like I can't figure this out. Right, this that goes up. Right, hang on, let's just that goes down. Right, then this one goes down, and that's actually back here. And then, like, it takes you back up. I don't want to go back up. I want to go down. That takes me down, but it takes me down the wrong path. Where does this take me again? Oh, this is it! Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. I guess we hadn't better about all the trainers. Literally, this just gave me a heart attack. I was just like, oh, wait, this looks like... Oh, this is it! Oh, man. So we still haven't battled one trainer. That's fine, though. It took me, it took me two seconds just to whip him. Man, that took me a while. Woo! Right, well then. Alright guys, well, whilst I've been running around like in a, in a circle. Woo, a parachute. Um, okay, I'm a little bit worried. What is this thing? Oh, well, I'll tell you one thing, it's dead. <laughs> um, let me know your thoughts. To, uh, a leaf fish. Oh, <gasps> no! Oh, that's so cool. 
That's so cool. It's a leaf fish. I love it. That is cool. That is cool. That is cool. That better evolve into something like unbelievable. Yo, so this is it. Here we go. This is it. Oh my goodness, we've made it. We've made it. All right, guys. Let me know your thoughts as well on today's question of the day. Include the hashtag SilverQOTD within your response and watch, watch which team member has uh, has been. Please tell me you guys are seeing this. Look at this thing. That thing's gotta be fire water. It's a whale. That thing looks amazing. Don't tell me the gym leader has one. I'm worried now. This was so deep now. He obviously lives at the like at the bottom of the ocean. Oh man. But yeah, which team member has been your favorite? Um of all of our team members that we've had, all of them, you know, Sasha, Kane, you know, including all of our current team members, you know, we have Rhea, Poppy, Espionette, a new member, Perry, Shade, and Takar. Which one was your favorite? For me. For me, it's, yeah, it's gotta be Poppy. Poppy has absolutely come through for us numerous amount of times. It is definitely the MVP for me. I love Poppy. I'll be very upset when Poppy's no longer with us because we're no longer gonna be playing this game. But don't you worry. We will play through this game again and I'm sure Poppy will join us again. But, um, but here we go, right. It took us a while, but we're here. Right, here we go. <clears throat> Well, hello, Challenger. I'm Cameron, scientist of this laboratory. Can you imagine that centuries before this rear area sank into the deep sea, it was part of Andet Bay. The ruins are now home to so many Pokemon. I wish I could just jump and swim in with them, but I have to settle for looking through the windows of my sub... Hang on, my submersible. My submersible. Okay. I could go on and on. I'm sorry, my enthusiasm sometimes gets the best of me. Now, I assume you're here to fight for the death badge, but you're in my element now. It's time to sink or to swim. Yo, look at his outfit. Look at it. Look at what we're standing on. That's cool. He's got a, a nursery. What is this thing? It's pink. What is it, a nurse shark? Level 27, glad we did the grinding. Um, oh man, okay, let's go, leaf tornado. We miss, the first leaf tornado of the gym, we miss. Depth charge, that did nothing, thankfully. We all, like, the fact that we're a grass type is really, really good. Okay, Jet Charge is doing nothing. This is good. This is a good start. It's got a super potion. Okay, that's expected. That's expected. We've got like 20 of them. Um, come on. We keep missing. Depth Charge. That must be physical. Oh, I've just read it's got animations turned off. No! Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I had the animations turned off during the grinding and I forgot to turn them on. I'm such an idiot. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The last badge of the, the, the last gym, and I have animations turned off. Literally, like, out of all the grinding, I even said to myself when I turned it off, I must remember to turn him off, I must remember. Oh, that sucks so bad. <sighs> the last gym, the most, like, the last most important badge. <sighs> I've got to turn animations on. I didn't even notice it when I did the previous battle. I didn't even notice. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, that sucks. 
I'm really annoyed at myself. I really want to see this animation for Death Charge. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. What was this? A parachute thing, wasn't it? Um, uh, we'll stay in. I'm going to make a drain. Oh, 28. Oh, I'm just so mad at myself. We can win one shot at that thing. Man, we didn't have to do the grinding after all. Oh, man. Once again, Tempest. Now, this is a move that I kept seeing during the grinding, and I assumed it was a flying type, which it is. The user summons a powerful scroll, uh, scroll to clear out the surrounding area and inflicts damage. Yo, that's a really cool move. And it's... Hmm. Um, air Cutter hits both. We're going to give it a pluck. And then Tempest, that's really cool. Sends out Glocto. What is a Glocto? I'm gonna switch. Ray has had enough action for today. Let's go into. Let's go into SBO. I'm assuming all of his Pokemon are water types. At least. A Glocto. What is this thing? A Glock type. It looks awesome. I want one. It's like a lava lamp spaceship octopus looking thing. Yo, this thing looks so cool. I want one. Um, it's level 30. Just under wave it. I'm so annoyed I've got animations turned off. I'm so annoyed with myself. too much. That did way too much. I now have to Shadow Sneak. That did way too much. We just lost Hespio. Hespio, my dude. I even caught him, especially for this gym. And he's already dead. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. Well, at least we managed to get a power off. Look how much... Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Look at how much... It's a fire type as well, just realise. It's gotta be a fire type. I'm going to bite him. That is nothing. Depth charge. Of course you get the crit. Shade, come through for me. Of course you get the crit. Uh, that's Hex. Oh, come on! That's so much damage! Yes! It's a great shade, you beautiful, beautiful horse. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sends out a scoo bug. What is this thing? I'm assuming it's a bug water, hence scoo bug. Yo, if it is. Hmm. Yo, where I come through, my darling. Yo, we're at we are actually gonna do this. I'm still so mad that I forgot to turn the animations off. Oh my goodness. Is this no that's no so the octo was your ace. The Glock towards your ace. Let's Tempest it up. Mmm. It's 2 a KO. Rain Dance. Oh, we've got this in the bag. We've got this in the bag. There we go. Yes, Scoot. Oh, man. Ray, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> After all that. Hmm. <laughs> Nasty done! You're a lot more resilient than you look. Here's a souvenir from the ocean floor. The death badge. Oh yeah. That's the death badge. A symbol that can get you to the top. You have to deep dive within yourself. And of course, I've got something else for you too. I obtained... Wait. You obtained the TM-102. It is depth charge. It hits Pokemon underwater for extra damage and may paralyze your foe. Once I once nearly threw in all my research because I hit a dead end, but I knew giving up would eat at me forever. There will be times when your adventure may get hard, but I can see in you that you've got the right stuff. 
You've made it this far. Don't stop now. The next challenge awaits. Yo, is that thing still there? Does it like disappear and become something else or? No, there he is. Yo, look at that thing. Oh, what the? <laughs> I'm glad the gym leader didn't have one. I just realized the gym leader didn't have it. I thought he did. He had that Glock toe though. Man. Yo, we've just done it. That's the gym. Yo, is this the last episode? Oh my goodness. That's it. What else is there to do? Wait. It's the professor. Bloomington. Hmm. Oh! Suma, good to see you. Mm, it's been quite a while since our, uh, we last met. The crystal you fetched for me has been a great help for my research. Please, come with me. You should look at the advance advances I've made. Apologies for the mess. I've been busy preparing for a journey of my own. You're familiar with the old legends, correct? A star that fell from the sky and gifted the people of ancient Aerobus with the great knowledge that with that knowledge the people built a great city of gold with the star at its center. However, the ancient people grew complacent. What now? Complacent? I don't even know what that means. Grew complacent and an evil king sized power. Evil king seized power, not sized. Seized. The star returned from whence it came, taking its knowledge with it, leaving the golden city to crumble into ruins. It's quite a charming tale. A warning to use one's gift for the fullest and never take it for granted was one has been given. However, what if I told you the story is true? The ancient Europeans knew, uh, knew things we did not. That city, that the city of the gold is no more legend. After years of research, I know it's real. The signs are quite clear. The ancient tribes made dozens of stone carvings and telling similar stories about a star falling from the heavens and giving the gift of knowledge to humanity. And the cave you found the star crystal in was created from a fragment of that falling star. It's dated to the same period. The connection is undoubtedly what? Undeniable. I thought it was undoubtedly. No, undeniable. Silver, I won't keep you from your own journey, but I do ask for your help. Your assistance in obtaining the crystal furthered my research by a great deal. Mm, if you would be continue with me as my aid, I am certain we can achieve great things. We can help not only ourselves, but everyone else too. Ah, uh, my apologies for rambling. It's been a while since I've been able to share my research. Please make yourself at home, Silver. And he just goes back to his exercise. Hmm. Just looking at me like, hmm. That's literally what he's doing. Yo, what is this? Is this the star crystal? Here it is. All right, so he says make myself at home. So I'm assuming there's something here. If he says make myself at home, there must be something here. Just It's just loads of dusty books. Are you telling me there's nothing here? No secret little, no secret little Easter egg. Wow, oh, wait, what about this? Well, that's a bit disappointing. Oh, take your time to think about my offer, Silver. With your help, you and I could accomplish many great things. It's the corner. Hello, Silver. How's your Pokedex coming along? Oh, Professor Northington, it's nice to meet you in person. Your, 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 you, your Mangrove's assistant. Yes. That young woman over there, her advisor and I, let's just say we have a history together. You know what I mean. I assume you know him as well? Professor Northington, isn't it about 
time that you and Professor Mangrove set your differences aside. It must have been years since you've seen him. You used to be friends. Are you really in position to lecture me about my old past? Professor, all I am saying is I have had enough of your sanctimonious tone. I have nothing more to discuss with a narrow-minded fossil-like mangrove. Hey, at least mangrove is an actual professor and not some bitter old putz fiddling around with storybooks. Mmm, it's over. I always keep in mind the source of your, all your information. The same event can look very different from two different points of view. You must remain vigilant and careful about those with whom you associate. And above all else, never give up on your dreams. Sometimes they are all the one as left. Ah, jeez. I really screwed that up. I really thought they'd, they'd have buried that hatchet by now. I'm sorry you saw that. I don't really feel comfortable getting into the details, but he and Mangrove used to be close friends until they had a falling out over some research. It was before my time, but, but I guess it was worse than my thoughts. Well, it's lucky I got to see you though, because I have a little something to give you from your mom. A bicycle? My mommy bought me a bicycle! Bicycle would help you get around a little more easily. You can even get to Vi and Vi 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 what now? Vi Vice City from right here. Your mom gave me a message too. Hey, sweetheart. Hope you haven't worn out those shoes out with all your traveling around. Just in case, it's a nice little present. If you ever have some spare time, come home and visit. Hugs and kisses, Mom. Wow. All right, Silver. I have to get going. I gotta get some seawater samples for Professor Mangrove. It's probably gonna be just as exciting as it sounds. Ah, see you around. This is the end of Demo 2.0. There is no further story content from here. You can continue to train and evolve your Pokemon along with going back and catching new Pokemon. We hope you had a great time playing. Please let us know what you thought of our demo by filling out the feedback survey. The Sage Development Team. Yo, that's it. That is it, guys. Episode 16 is, uh, is the end of Sage. There we go. There we go, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this series. Did you enjoy it? Let me know. I know this question of the day is going to be huge. Please be as descriptive as you like, guys. Let me know your thoughts, please. I, I read every single comment you guys send. Let me know. What did you think of this series? Did you enjoy it? What were your thoughts on the game? You know, don't let me know your thoughts on the question of the day. You know, include the hashtag, so for QOTD. Which team member has been your favorite? For me, it's Poppy. I absolutely love Poppy. She, she's been like member with us since I think episode two, and absolutely love Poppy. And um, I really, I love this game. This game has been absolutely insane. I highly recommend you guys play it. The link is always included in the description below. If you guys do want to play this game yourself, definitely go and check it out. It has been absolutely insane. I've loved every minute of it. I wouldn't change anything I did to like like anything different uh let me know if you want to see like another episode maybe where i'll go around and evolve all these pokemon um like i can do some sort of bonus episode let me know if that's something you guys are about to see um and i'll see what i can do i uh, see what i can do and try and get you guys something a little extra if you guys want, want that let me know in the comment section and let me know if there's any things you'd like me to try and improve on for future series as i say we've got a brand new project starting on october 1st um so during the next week obviously the videos may be a bit up and down i'll do like i'll see what i can do to get you guys content but um there may be misses here and there but hey 
it's it'll be worth it because on October 1st a brand new project need I say more but it's gonna be absolutely insane it's a brand new I've never done this type of project with anyone before it's specifically in Pokemon um, so it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be absolutely awesome I hope you guys are looking forward to it as I said, let me know your thoughts on everything to do with this game in the comment section down below did you enjoy it what are your thoughts on how I played it how, uh, what do you think I can do as a content creator to improve let me know with that I'm gonna get out of here thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this series my name is Silver Beanie, and we'll catch you guys next time. Do take care. Silvers, out of here.